Good day. Today, my group and I will try to attempt to explain God's existence through the field of science. It was once asked whether God of science could be reconciled with the God of religion. We believe that is a yes. I'll first discuss the topic of the universe and how it was created. There are generally two theories to this. Either the universe came out because someone created it and designed it to be that way, or it spontaneously appeared from nothing. I think the first argument makes more sense, but let me tell you why. The theory is that the universe originated from nothing is pretty much impossible because you can't create nothing from something. It is impossible for this to happen, and also, our universe is finely tuned and so precise in design. First theory, on the other hand, which states that each universe originated from the one before it, is also impossible because there cannot have been infinite beginnings of the universe. The idea of infinite beginnings is absurd because if there really were infinite beginnings, then we would never have a now. But since we ourselves are living proof that there is a now, it means that there had to have been a beginning for a present to exist. See? We believe that the universe was created by a someone. Just like what Sam said, our universe is so precise in its design and is very finely tuned. Therefore, it must have taken someone extremely intelligent to design and create the universe. This someone is God. Also, because the universe could not have been infinite, the beginning of the universe marks the beginning of time as we know it. Whoever created the universe must exist within his own right to make such a definition on time, right? Is making sense so far? Now that it's clear that the universe most likely originated from a supreme creator than from inanimate energy, let's move on to the next topic of discussion, evolution. Evolution is another link to God. It is a very good example of God's precise design of the universe and the way that everything works. The evolution of single-celled organisms to humans and animals is a display of God's intelligence and craftsmanship. Even to the smallest details such as DNA was part of God's plan and creation. Evolution is simply God's mind at work in nature. God's God designed the universe to progress that way. Everything we see in nature today is a testament to God's brilliant mind. Math is another way to see God through science. The natural world and the human mind come from one source, God. God created nature and He gave us reason and logic with which we interpret nature. God is our link to understanding the physical world. So you see, we can get to know God through science. The God of science and the God of faith are one and the same. The God we pray to and the God who created the universe are the same God. God is the supreme being. He exists in His own right and has infinite power. The God of science is just a part of God that is knowable by man. By continuing to study science, we continue to get to know God through His creation. From using science to understand the physical world, we can develop reason. We use reason to better understand our faith, to better understand God. So there it is. We hope our little lecture helped you to understand God's existence through science.